In this video, we're going to take a look at relations and functions. Relations and functions, remember, functions are things where we have no repeating x values, or there's no repeating values in the domain. We can test that by looking at the ordered pairs, or if we have a graph, we can use the vertical line test. We'll look at the vertical line test a little bit later, but let's start by looking at some sets of ordered pairs and determine whether or not there are functions. All right, this first one, if we look, we have 2, 5, 0, and 4. All those x values are different, so this would be a function. We do have repeat, a repeating y value, which is the 3, but that's okay. So in this case, yes, this is a function. The domain of this uh, situation, we just pick out the x values. So let's just go ahead and list those out. And usually we'll put them in order. So we'll, we start with 0. Then we have 2. We have 4 and 5. So the domain in that function is 0, 2, 4, and 5. Now the range is the set of y values. So the y's, we have 3, 4, 3, and 1. I'm going to put them in order. And if they show up more than once, I only have to write them once. So we don't have to write the 3 twice, even though it is in our ordered pairs twice. Okay, finally, to make a mapping diagram, what we do is we put each the domain and the range into sort of a little bubble here. So our domain is 0, 2, 4, and 5. Our range is 1, 3, and 4. And then we're just going to draw arrows to connect the ordered pairs. So our first one is 2 to 3. So 2 to 3. Our next one is 5 to 4. So just drawing arrows again. 0 to 3. So here we've got 0, we're going to 3 again. And then we've got 4 to 1. So that would be our mapping diagram for that relation. Let's take a look at another one right here. Is this a function? Well, if we're given ordered pairs, remember we look at those x coordinates. So we've got a 3, a 2, a 0, and a 2. Oh, we've got a repeat. When we repeat in our x's, it is not a function. This is not a function. We can, however, still pick out the domain and range. The domain is the set of x values again. So we have 0, 2, and 3. And our range is the set of the y values. We have negative 1, negative 2, 2, and 1. I'm just going to put those in order negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Okay, and if we want to make a mapping diagram there, just make our little bubbles, put those numbers inside. Our domain is 0, 2, and 3. Our range is negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. And then I'm just going to switch colors here so that we can maybe see this a little better and if we then just connect our what our ordered pairs are so 3 is being paired with negative 1 like so 2 is going with negative 2 so we're up there 0 is going with 2 and finally 2 is going with 1 okay so there's our mapping diagram for that relation. Now the vertical line test which I mentioned earlier we can use that also to determine whether a relation is a function. So here's a couple examples of graphs and if we look at them and use the vertical line test, the vertical line test says that if a vertical line passing over the graph touches the graph no more than once then that is a function. So in this case, as I take my vertical line over across my graph, well, it's just touching once, 
touching once, touching once, touching once, and no more. So this first one would be yes, that is a function. This second one, as I'm going along, over here I'm okay because it's not touching at all. It can still be a function if my vertical line is not touching it. I get over here to the y-axis. I'm touching at one point. That's okay. Here I'm touching at one point. One point. Ooh, three points. Uh-oh, that's trouble. So right here is the problem. We're touching at three points. This graph fails the vertical line test because it's touching more than once. So this one is not a function. So again, this first one is a function because it passes the vertical line test. It touches at most once. And the second one is not a function because it fails the vertical line test right here. Let's look at two more quickly. Again, our vertical line test. Here's my vertical line coming along coming along I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay sometimes people might have a little bit of a question here but notice how it's just one point at three zero that is touching so we're okay we're okay this first one we indeed pass the vertical line test how about this one right here we're okay 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 ooh we got trouble right here we're hitting three times right there so this fails the vertical line test in this whole area because we're touching the graph again is touching our vertical line more than once right over here it's okay we'd just be touching once here but this area right here is trouble so our vertical line test is failed on this second one so again this first one yes it is indeed a function passes the vertical line test this second one, no it is not because it fails the vertical line test. Hope this was helpful. We can use both the vertical line test and by looking at the x values if we're given ordered pairs or maybe a table to determine if a relation is a function.